Hello everyone, it's Kitchen Delight again and it's Henry, your chef, and I'm so grateful and so honored that I share with you every Sunday afternoon here on Kitchen Delight. And thank you so much for being a part of this show. Today, we are having a very simple and doable meal. And all I'm going to need is a pumpkin, like you can see, very yellow, very attractive, very beautiful. A pumpkin, onions, uh, some garlic, and of course, yogurt. And I know you must be wondering, how can we have a soup with yogurt? Just, just keep it there, you're going to love it. So to start with, I'm going to uh, peel and dice my pumpkin. Like you can see, I have cut it, uh, sliced, sliced it into such long slices. And I'm going to just cut out the, uh, the seeds, just like that. Uh, we are making a very simple soup. This is a delicious meal that you can have, especially for parents that you have kids and they have a problem with appetite or they, they, they don't feel like eating. This is a kind of meal that is going to, first of all, appetize them because of the way it looks when it is done. And secondly, it is a, a meal that enhances their appetite, even for adults. Now, I'm gonna apply the same uh, technique that I use when I'm peeling uh, the pineapple. Just get my knife and go just round like this. It's a little tough because this is a pumpkin, but uh, it's okay. And uh, I'll just peel it like that. Alternatively, I can uh, you can just grab it like this, get your knife and go over. Very simple, it's a bit hard. This is where you need to have a very sharp knife so it can obey you in whatever you are doing in your kitchen. All right, that is fine. Get another one. You can do the whole pumpkin or half of it, depending on how big it is and the size and how much soup that you want to make. But this is a very simple pumpkin soup, but in a way you have never seen it before. So I'm just going to dice this into uh, small dices, just like that. And even as I'm preparing this meal, and uh, this is a kind of a meal that you'll have on a cold evening or even if it's hot, just to relax off the day or even uh, when having lunch. Now, these are onions. I'm just going to uh, cut them over like that. Right, there is my onions. Remember, everything that you see here on Kitchen Delight, the way you see it, the way you like it, is the way you're going to get it. There is a number running on your screen, 6565. You can send me an SMS, you can comment, you can ask any question. Or if you're on Facebook, it is NTV Kitchen Delight. And you like the page, throw me a comment, ask me any question, invite me over. Anything that you want to know about Kitchen Delight, you will find it and you will love it. So what I'm going to do at the moment, uh, I have my pan here. I'm going to set uh, it's a little water out. I'm going to set the fire. I'm going to put some vegetable oil, uh, just a dash as you can see because the pan is very hot. Now, these are cloves. Now, because they are still whole, they're not crushed, I'm going to pick just a few, a handful, maybe like 10 pieces. And then I have some green fennel here. So I'm going to put this in the pan. Give them time to uh, just turn the fire a little down. Give them time to break up and get all the uh, the flavors out. Then even some fennel seeds. These are green fennel, of course dried. I'm gonna pick some, just like a, a teaspoonful. Uh, that's just enough. So I'll put that in. As you can see, they're already exploding. I need my glove here. Okay. Now you you make, you let the oil heat up and then uh, just turn the fire a little down. Okay. You let the oil heat up, then put the fennel seeds and the cloves, and give them between a minute or two, and let them start to explode. You know, they start to open up, so the flavors, uh, as I can feel now, all the aroma from the fennel seeds and the aroma from uh, the cloves coming together, it is wonderful. So give them maybe a minute or two, 
Alternatively, if you don't have oil, you can start with a, a dry pan, put the cloves, put the fennel seeds, give them a few minutes just to explode, like stir fry them. And when it's almost, almost uh, two minutes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to introduce my pumpkin. I've been, I've sliced it, I've peeled it, sliced it, put out the seeds. So I'm going to introduce that. And then I'm going to put our garlic. Uh, where is my glove? Okay, here is my glove. Just uh, stir this a little. All right. And then I'm going to get all these onions. Put them there. So I'm going to leave them also for a a minute or two just to get all the oils and all the flavors from the fennels and the cloves to be infused in the onions and uh, in the pumpkin because remember we're making a pumpkin soup very easy very simple and very very delicious remember it is kitchen delight henry is my name and we're having a wonderful time we decided here from kitchen delight we shall make every meal time a delightful moment in your house so our pumpkin is here going, our onions are going. I'll uh, just have to put this away. Now, what I have here is a stock. Now, mm, this, this, this kind of stock, uh, I've told you before, it can be chicken stock, it can be beef stock, it can be uh, any, any, any other stock that you put together. But today, what I'm using is chicken stock. And uh, I'm gonna put this in here after just a two, two minutes. Then the yogurt will come a little later. I'll keep getting my glove here. Now I need to increase my fire a little bit. All right. The vegetables we are making today, very healthy, just fresh vegetables you can pick from everywhere. So we have the pumpkin here. We have uh, onions, fennel seeds, and cloves going. So we're introducing the celery. Just like that. Now, after putting the celery, give it a quick stir. And then, at the same time, we introduce our stock. Right, that is fine. Give this a quick stir, just to make, su make sure the sauce and uh, all the flavors, the onions, the celery, the pumpkin. Right. Now, I'm gonna leave this to boil away for uh, maybe between 20 and 30 minutes to make sure all the vegetables are cooked together and they're ready. And then we shall turn them into the blender and take it from there. So I've put my pumpkin here, I've put my onions and celery, and I'm going to introduce uh, the binder, the love that binds us all together. That is some, some salt. will be just enough. Give it a stir to make sure all the salt, everything is infused in there. Perfect. So we're going to give our vegetables between 20 and 30 minutes to cook, let the, the vegetables all cook together or until they get tender and then the flavors all infused together. Then from there, we shall blend it and we shall be good and ready to go. So for now, enjoy, sit back and relax.